Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorial. In my last video, I covered the basics of workflow and in this video, we will jump into the AM and begin exploring the workflow console to familiarize ourselves with all the options available to us. So let's jump into this. Let's first log in into our AM. Go to this product navigation, Adobe Experience Manager. Within the tools, here the lots of category options are available and we are interested in this workflow. So click on this workflow. You will find there are the five different cards in the workflow console. So first one is the model. Let's click on this. Here you can find the lot of workflow models which are already available out of the box from the AM. Let me change the view. So this was the card view and this is the list view. These are the several workflow models which are already available to us. What we can do, we can also create a workflow model here using this option of create model. We can define a title name and we can start creating a new workflow model in this window. So here you can create a new model or if you want to or if you will select a model, you can edit the model, you can start a workflow and also you can delete a model. Let's exit this and go back. The second one is instances. Let's click it. And though it is blank this time, but here you can find the workflow that is currently in progress. Let's go back again and now jump into this launchers. This launchers allows to define a workflow to launch if a specific event occurs in Adobe Experience Manager. You can also create new launchers from this screen. You can go to the create button and you can add your own launcher. You can define the type of event when you want to execute some model here and you can define the model here which you, which you want to execute on a particular event type. Let's cancel this. And these are the launchers which are already available. These are the globings. It means the path specified for action of node. And these are the descriptions, event types, files, conditions you can find here. You can also select this and go to the view properties and view the properties of a launcher. You can also delete a launcher. Let's exit this and return back. And after that, we have this archive. It is blank here, though it is blank. Here you can find the details of a workflow instances that have completed or terminated. You can also view the history of a workflow here. Let's go back. And the last console is failures. This console, you can find the workflows that have failed. And one more thing I want to discuss about is the inbox. Users have their own workflow inbox in which the assigned workflows are accessible. Now that we are comfortable with what a workflow is and how to interact with the workflow in Adobe Experience Manager, in the next clip, we will look at how we can create our own workflow model in Adobe Experience Manager. So stay tuned. Thank you friends. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel, like this video and share this with your friends. Thanks again for watching.